Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And uh, and you have given yourself a beautiful nickname. How should I address you, by the way? Yeah. My name is Saraswati. Saraswati. All right. We have spoken before, haven't we? Yes. Uh, well, once uh, I we have spoken in the month of April. Yes. Yes. Long but, time. Uh, that time I did not get the video. You did not get the video, okay? Yeah. All right. Although it's not something I I do I control I have any control over, but uh, sorry that you didn't get the video. Sure. Anyway, um, in April it was going through a transition phase. The entire platform was going through a transition phase, so probably that could be the reason why you know you, there may have been some technical glitch. I'm not sure about it. I'm assuming yeah. that. All right, Saraswati, welcome back. How have you been, by the way? Yes, I am good. Thank you for asking. What about you, sir? All well, Saraswati. Thank you. Thank you so much. All righty. So let's begin first with the assignment. Yeah. Okay. Let me check your assignment. What is it? Opinion matters. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, in the age of the internet, Opinions have become everything, correct? Someone yeah. says vegetarian food is good. Someone says non-vegetarian food is good. Someone shall say that you should drink lots of water. Someone will say, no, no, not a lot of water is not good. Um, there will be someone who says that um, living in India is a good uh, idea. Someone will say, no, moving abroad is a good idea. So we are living in times when opinions have become radical, have become drastic, um, extreme and also everyone is very rigid about their own opinions tell me some of the opinions that you have seen people are holding on to too strongly and not letting it go neither are ready to hear any different opinion did you understand what I am trying to ask you what I'm trying to yes, yes. yeah I, I understood yeah sure please give it a try uh, so yes, uh, there are lots of opinion, and people want to stick with that, uh, as uh, every people have different opinions. So mm -hmm. sometimes people always want to stick with that. Mm -hmm. Suppose as I have uh, that opinion, uh, when we get up in the morning, so we should uh, drink a glass of water. Correct. So in in my opinion, it is good. But other person can say that, no, this is not good. Mm -hmm. So a different person uh, can have different opinions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are some of the um, very strong opinions that you see these days in society? Whether political, whether religious, whether uh, food choice related whether any cultural opinion that, uh, like uh, um, people have that uh, mentality like uh, street food or uh, street fruits or junk food is not good mm -hmm. is their opinion so it mm -hmm. will not go corruption mm -hmm. will not go mm -hmm. yeah now um, in your opinion is there anything that you believe that has changed over time very quickly like when you were um, a child or maybe you were in your teenage and now when you see those things have changed drastically i'll give you an example uh, 20 years back i would not see any girl wearing short clothes absolutely no one now when i step out of my home i see almost every girl wearing a short cloth right so this is a change in opinion of the people around and also so there is an acceptance for a short cloth or whether there is an absent you know acceptance or not at least people are not interfering with other people's lives yeah so there is a space for a different opinion this is just an example can you see any other examples around yourself yes, where... as, uh, uh, if i see 10 years ago or 15 years ago so uh, to marry in another caste was uh, very uh, means rigid means parents yes. were not agreed for that but mm -hmm. this time we can see every second family have intercaste marriage 
so i can say that this is and even now parents are also allowed to uh, to their children to uh, means if uh, that their children uh, means told about the for marriage so they uh, they will have to accept that because uh, in the, our society every uh, is uh, everyone is accepting now mm -hmm. okay okay yeah. Yeah, so these are some of the opinions which are now a little more flexible, isn't it? Yes. How do you look at the societal changes? Like if when you compare the changes that have happened in the society in the last 20 years, um, what are some of the changes which you appreciate, which are some of the things that you don't appreciate? Uh, first, I would like to say that which uh, we ap I appreciate is... Uh, everyone send uh, means parents have started to uh, send uh, their girls children for uh, higher education or for, means they allow girls to outside for jobs the disadvantage is that as uh, uh, in 20 years or 10 years ago uh, mm. we have more respect for our elders mm. okay but these children uh, give answer immediately mm. yes now, Mm. So this is not good thing, and mm. uh, uh, they are always busy with uh, social media platform mm. and uh, uh, internet. So this these are not good things. Mm. Even fam they have no time to communicate with each other. Mm. Mm. So in the society on like Facebook, Instagram, that their mm. life is going good, mm. but they do not uh, so, uh, try to show their real image. Mm. Yeah. Uh, now, when it comes to social media, I'm sure that, I mean, you too could be using social media or at least uh, are pretty much aware of what's happening around social media. Uh, do you yeah. think that social media has played a great role uh, or a tremendously powerful role in shaping opinions and making opinions very rigid? Because when with social media, people hold on to what they think very strongly because they defend it. Because they go to defend their argument, they go to defend whatever uh, their thoughts are. Because someone else is arguing with them. So, in a way, do you think um, you know social media has made us more polarized, has made us more um, rigid and strong about our opinions than previously? Because now we just have to, you know, you like a certain kind of post, and your feed will be full of the similar kind of posts. Right. Yes. Let's say you like a certain political ideology and you followed one or two channels and you watched one or two videos. Within the next one hour, your every feed will be of the same type. Your every mm -hmm. reel, every video that you will see will be of the same type. So it will keep on feeding your own thoughts and ideas. Do you think yeah. this has some any relevance? How do you look at it? Uh, yes, sir. because earlier we have no these types of facilities where we can share our ideas uh, even uh, not in politics not in labor like uh, um, related to our life everything we share on social media platform so mm. someone if someone follows uh, some channels or some uh, post so their mentality their way of thinking uh, uh, means uh, the same they started to think the same way mm. Mm. So, uh, this uh, uh, happens because uh, every day uh, we have that facility to uh, scroll our mobile. So, we can see lots of uh, means uh, post at a time on the mm. same topic. So, mm. people can make uh, our opinion to see mm. the different topics mm. or the, to see the one particular topic and for one particular topic, there are different views on one particular topic. Yes, so a person yes. can uh, means, uh, follow one person and can yes. make the same opinion of that. If suppose some person oppose that person, so mm -hmm. that person will not allow that person to interfere uh, mm. his or her opinion. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, all right um now for all the things that you have known about your own ideas 
has your idea your opinion your thought been challenged sometimes and how did you take that challenge sometimes uh, i really become ag uh, angry on that person if really that uh, idea the opinion does, uh, does not uh, match with me sometimes mm. uh, i take it in positive way too mm. and suppose sometimes uh, suppose i have one particular idea and uh, one and the other person when uh, try to um, try to just uh, replace that uh, my mm -hmm. opinion mm -hmm. so definitely i feel um, means a uh, little bit angry or uh, i feel i feel insecure at that time mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> i i'm i'm interested to understand what was that insecurity about and uh, how you handle it further did you try to defend your thoughts or Were you like okay? Let it be. People can have different opinions. Uh, no, suppose uh, as I have one particular opinion, and other person interfere and try to um, means to try to just uh, change my opinion. So mm. I at that time I do not react immediately. Mm. But uh, later I definitely think about that. Is that person uh, whatever that person is telling was really correct? Mm -hmm. but i don't want to so in front of uh, that person okay. but later i definitely think about that and mm. if i found yes that person was really correct so mm. i tried my best to change that opinion so mm. that i can uh, means uh, save my future well i can secure my uh, means what i'm going to do so that i can go in the better way okay okay interesting very interesting sure um tell me a little bit about what are your thoughts on um people not letting others have an opinion right they hold on to their opinion very strongly but they do not let others have an opinion because they have that uh... a uh, type of personality like uh, they are very rigid with their opinion and they have like some more knowledge i can say that about that some uh, particular thing and uh, sometimes uh, they are uh, very um, it's like uh, one opinionated person like their mm -hmm. personality is like that so because of that they do not allow other person to <clears throat> just uh, share their opinion with them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. and always try to say that just this is the uh, this is my opinion and this is correct and mm -hmm. you should follow on that okay okay <clears throat> do you think personal relationships um even uh, within the families are sometimes affected because of politically diverse opinions yes sometimes uh, uh, it uh, affects uh, in our personal life because uh, every person have mobile and they have a, a social media platform mm -hmm. so immediately Uh, suppose suppose some something has happened at home so they have that facility to share that thing with their friends and in their friend circle too so mm. and they also have uh, gather lots of information about that topic mm -hmm. so yes definitely i can say that uh, so uh, means uh, it affects uh, in our personal life okay yes hmm have you have you been have you been through any such um you know differences between any of your uh, maybe family members or immediate relatives or within of immediate friend circle uh, that uh, uh, a differing opinion because of religious cultural traditional even uh, political view um, created a rift between you and the other individual uh, yes because you know this time social media is very popular and uh, not only personal life 
and religious opinion also uh, changed of many people because uh, on social media platform we uh, find uh, we can find other religions who are uh, means um, mm -hmm. who are spreading their religion mm -hmm. so that people get affected by that mm -hmm. and they also try to follow that religion mm -hmm. and try to say that yes this is correct so definitely this also affect uh, personal life in uh, you know in the uh, friend circle too mm -hmm. okay yes all right sure okay saraswati good 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 responses couple of things that i notice is that you speak well no doubt but perhaps you need to do a little more work on how you are framing your sentences i think the grammar part is okay but to sound more impressive to look as if you are growing you need to put in a little more effort on using the synonyms of what you're already using okay mm -hmm. so if you are saying for example i don't know if you have used this word or not these days you see that people use the word awesome a lot yes mm -hmm. awesome is a very common word these days mm -hmm. now why are people repeating awesome because they are listening to the same word from everywhere mm -hmm. all right now instead of awesome it's quite okay to use other words like remarkable or brilliant or fantastic these are also pretty much in uh, in use and we are aware of these words because we are not using or we are not uh, what do you say we are not uh, willfully using those words we are not able to recollect those words so my idea is that start looking at your own pattern that what are the things that we are repeatedly using what are the words phrases that we are, and how can we replace it with other words correct Mm -hmm. this is how we grow our vocabulary this is how we mm -hmm. become more and more resourceful in terms of words yeah yes that is an opinion from my side for you okay yes. okay let's do some sentence formation exercises make a sentence using information information yeah uh, yesterday i got an information about uh, how to uh, cook chapati how to what how to cook chapati okay cook chapati is time. not wrong but how to make chapati is a better word okay, okay yes how to make chapati yeah yeah okay good make a sentence using instagram instagram yeah i uh, do not use uh, instagram on daily basis mm -hmm. or frequent yes I do not use Instagram on a daily basis because I believe it's a waste of time. Complete yeah. the sentence, okay? What yeah. you have said is okay, but it sounds incomplete. Mm -hmm. Always think of cause and effect in a sentence. I don't use Instagram, mm -hmm. okay. It is what? It is an effect. But why I don't use it? Because it's a waste of time. So when you add a cause and an effect to the sentence, it sounds better. It sounds like you have done some uh, complete work. All righty. Make a sentence using original. original. Uh, yesterday, I ate, uh, uh, I tried uh, soup, and this is the original taste of uh, Chinese. Hmm. Original taste of Chinese. It was original Chinese taste. Can you say that sentence again? Okay. I make another. I try to make another sentence. Yeah, trade. I originally belong belong to uh, Uttar Pradesh. I originally I belong to Uttar Pradesh. Hmm. But currently, I reside in Mumbai. Hmm. Originally is okay. See, in India, we have used these words in such a way that we have Indianized them. So we don't say originally <laughs> is a very Indian way of saying that I'm originally from UP, I'm originally from MP. What we basically okay. use is I'm a native of UP. 
Okay. Correct. So because in India we have used it so much, we feel like ah, यही तो सही है, right? We have this idea that this is the right way, but in a way it's an Indianized way version. Okay. So the correct yeah. sentence would be, I'm a native of UP. Okay. Hmm? okay. Yes. Make a sentence using meeting. Meeting. Mm. Uh, yesterday I had a meeting uh, with uh, a tutor, but I did not able to attend because I was busy with some work. Uh huh. Okay. Yesterday I had a tutor, but was busy with a busy with some. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Shallow. All right. Any questions? Any doubts? Tell me. If you have any, you can ask me now. Uh, sir, will you please feel, give me the feedback where I did mistake so that I will we will get to know that. Uh, mm. what? See, if you yeah. look at the whole class, if, if, after every um, bit of work, I have given you feedback. Feedback is not at the end. जब मैं कह रहा हूँ कि आपको अपने synonyms पर ध्यान देना चाहिए. Yeah, yeah, I got that. So. There is no particular feedback as such, right? A feedback is always right after the act, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, आपने कहीं पर originally को गलत तरीके से इस्तेमाल किया. So this is the feedback. It's happening. It's happening every time you are given a task, right? I I often see this. Students fail to understand. मैं आपको दोष नहीं दे रहा हूँ. I'm saying students fail to understand that feedback is happening all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So my feedback again, I'll repeat the same feedback. There cannot be different feedback. That you need to work a little bit on the sentence formation quality, right? Making sure that you are using the cause and effect equation mm -hmm. within the, making sure that the sentences are don't sound incomplete. They sound complete, correct? Making sure that you are using the synonyms of what you're already using. Identifying patterns, correct? Mm -hmm. That this is the pattern on you. I'm pattern of words I'm using. How Should I start finding synonyms? अगर मैं कोई word को बार बार repeat कर रही हूँ क्या मैं उसको दूसरे words उसके लिए use कर सकती हूँ This is feedback. It's happening all the time throughout the class. Yes, yes. ठीक है चलिए All right, Saraswati, that would be all. Good to see you back and hope to see you again and again. Yeah, yeah, sir.